This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbilmec, a bit of planner, Camp Power and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? Today we're going to do a degradation test of this Tesla Model Y long range. It has done 155,000 kilometers. So I want to see how good is the battery holding up. So first, um, excuse me because this uh, car is quite messy. I've never seen such a messy car before. Maybe we don't want to highlight too much on that. I uh, hope that there's just no mold in here, but uh, uh, he has Starlink in his car. <laughs> okay, what is important is that here, he also used sexy button, this is the old commander, and then I hook up my own uh, OBD LX adapter here with a splitter. So everything is back there in between the trash. And here in the front, uh, he has a monitor in the front and a bunch of trash and also uh, whatever um, a keyboard but well, hopefully this monitor is not in, not in the way for me okay let's try to tuck it away I'm not sure if I can okay he uses this car as his house I think um, but okay uh, let's not focus too much on that I would charge the car to 100% it's just charging complete it pulls one kilowatt for the HVAC I think if we go here um, on the software, you see that it's Model Y, long range, 155K, Win XP7, yeah, so this is from uh, Giga Berlin. Wait, how old is it? I have to check. But uh, actually, uh, let me do, every time I switch to, you, uh, it, it switch to English in the language here, it automatically switches to 12 hour. I'm not sure why, 124 hour. Okay, but uh, here we have Skyma Tesla. I pull out some of the most important uh, variables. So um, um, what is important is uh, this usable remain. Okay, actually, no, no. I'm gonna go to another tab here, all tab. So here, can you see anything there? Um, it's kind of small there, I'm gonna zoom in a bit. So if I just quickly show you guys what is uh, important here. Uh, scroll down a bit. Yeah, DC charge total, 14,000 kilowatt hour and AC charge 26 so seems like he has DC charge some uh, it's roughly one to wait, wait, how is this one third is DC charge and two third is AC charge right I think most other cars the Teslas will have less of the DC charge and more of the AC charge and what else is it yeah here, here. so here normal full pack or the what, what are we looking for here well, it's basically usable remaining because there's a buffer below 0% that we don't want to count. But um, full pack when new, 78.8 kilowatt hour. And then nominal full pack now is, I'm not sure which one usually, 70.8 maybe. But uh, this is one we want to see is the usable remaining. This is from 100% now down to 0%. 67.8 kilowatt hour. Oh, really? I have measured when the, uh, these ba battery packs are new LG packs to have 74.5 roughly. So you see, if you take 78.8 minus 3 something kilowatt, you know, is it, you get 75 point something, but then there's always some lo discharging loss. So uh, what I actually get is 74.5. That's what we're going to go for. So you see here, 67.8. Um, I will drive a little bit faster today because I don't want to spend all night testing and the Tesla's are so efficient, but uh, I expect that it might, uh, in the trip meter, might get 67 kilowatt hour out of the battery. But we'll see, Th that's why we have to do the test because as the battery ages, uh, internal resistance goes up and uh, you might not get what you're supposed to get, right? So right, uh, let's unplug and then we start the test. Wow, we're on the move. So normally I will be cruising at 90 km per hour on this degradation test, mainly to keep the consumption low and the losses low. This time I'll just go 123 on the speedometer, that's 120 GPS speed. And um, yeah, we'll just drive now and see what the consumption will be. And this is how we calculate. Well, actually, we can see all the data. Normally I would take consumption multiplied by distance, but uh, here we have so many tools that can show us uh, a kilowatt hour use. So I'll just head north now along Mjosa and go over to uh, Brummendal. The car estimates 67% at Brummendal. Hmm, okay. 
we are now at Moar. I decided to go a little bit further past uh, Rudshagna. So, so far we have 60% battery. Wow, and we drove 113 kilometers. Consumption 234 watt hour per kilometer. That is impressive, man. <laughs> it's minus one degrees outside. Tesla, they are really efficient. Yeah, that's why I don't want to drive at 90 because it's gonna take forever to do this test. Oh, sorry for uh, my bad voice. Uh, I have the man flu. I'm not sure if I got it from the children or whatever. But uh, yeah, here's where we turn around. Then we head north again. So battery temperature has been actually staying high-ish. 23 to 22 degrees Celsius. It's scavenging a little bit, 19 degrees. We are almost done with the test. We are down to 7%. And now I'm cruising at only 90 kilometers per hour and I'm preheating. Wait, can you see it? There, you can see it. Yeah, so I'm preheating. I'm just navigated to Ayunti Dal. But I want to get the battery nice and warm to see what kind of charging speed we can get here. So, yeah, right now we are at 26. What is it? 26.5. Oh, look at this. The delta between min and max temp is 26 to 27. So this is only 0.5 degrees Celsius delta between min and max. This is Tesla tech for the win. Well, we are now at uh, Yasim and uh, yeah, we're done with the test. 2% left. You can see it up there. 276 kilometers done. It wasn't too strict about going on 120, especially towards the end, but the car reports 64 kilowatt hour used. Uh, Skyway Tesla reports 61.1 kilowatt hour and then 1.2 kilowatt hour left. So that is only 65.3 kilowatt hour total. Hmm. We heated up the battery though to 33 degrees Celsius. Let's plug it in and see if we can get 100, wait, 250 kilowatt. Well, let's see, 160 kilowatt. It's ramping up. Wait. I think that's it. Only 160 kilowatt. Uh-oh. No, he's ramping on that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that. 180 kilowatt. Wait, I need to test something. We have to go to Ayunti Dal. I almost forgot about this. But we need hot the battery. Because at supercharger, you can get more than 500 amps. And then at Ionity Dal, well, actually, it's, it's uh, sub K. So, no, 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 shit. Um, it's over here. Moving. The, the, the Dal, why, why don't we see it? There. They have a truck charger there with 600 amp plug. I want to see if we can get 600 amp on the Tesla. Because normally, the only place to get more than 500 amp is at the supercharger. Wait, what the heck? Huh. But then I need to heat up the battery more before I attempt it. Okay, we don't see uh, 250 kilowatt, only 170 because the battery is not warm enough. Normally we need over 40 degrees Celsius to get maximum speed. All right, we're at Ayonte now, or around Soko K Dal. It, it's just preheating, but it's just maintaining the heat in the battery. 45 degrees Celsius now. All right, that's boiling hot. Let me see, we have to go for not these chargers. Well, some say that there's also some 600 amp boost on these. But this is the shared 400 kilowatt. These are the ones we are looking for. They are dedicated one, uh, 400 kilowatt on each, uh, well, cabinet or whatever you call it. Yeah. Okay, let's try. Oh yeah, look at this. 560, five, oh. I never seen that high speed before non-Tesla chargers. If that was Ionity, for example, they are capped at 500 amp. But here, you can actually go higher than 500. You can charge, yeah. Uh, it's basically maximum speed for this car right now. Even though, huh, we are at 46, 47 percent uh, degrees. I mean, how the heck do we get 250 kilowatt? I'm starting to wonder if maybe it cannot reach it. I mean, we, but I, I don't know what the heck happened there. It just stopped charging. <laughs> uh, let's try again. Ramping up. But now it just goes to 500. Hmm. There, over 500 amp still. 
I don't know what happened in the previous session. But yeah. So you see, we don't need 800 volt chargers. I mean, 800 volt architecture, we can just go for uh, 400 volt cars as long as you get more than 500 amp. Well, actually, <laughs> you can't get 500 amp for too long anyway. Now the car is limiting the, the current. But uh, yeah, so uh, now we've seen it. <laughs> Okay, back at the uh, supercharger, I just want to see at 8% do we get 200 at all? You know, the owner said that uh, he never sees 200 kilowatt. So, it makes me wonder, did they derate the battery just like the classic uh, well, Model X? You know, like Optimus Prime. Uh, Maybe because you fa fast charge a lot, supercharge a lot, then they uh, limit how many kilowatt you can get. So eventually you can't get 250 kilowatt anymore. Not sure. Hmm. Because when I test those cars in 1000 kilometer challenge, they are relatively new cars. But then we get 250 kilowatt. But now we see, I see no 250 kilowatt or not even 200 kilowatt. All right, well, this test was about uh, degradation. Well, uh -huh. degradation in, in, in capacity, but uh, there could possibly be degradation in charging speed also, which is actually significant. Wow, look at this. This is somewhat common across many Teslas. Uh, well, except for maybe the old Teslas, like uh, 90 kilowatt hour Model S or X. But um, yeah, since Model 3 was introduced, <laughs> While supercharging, uh, it's quite common that the battery reaches 56 to 57 degrees Celsius. Some batteries even reaches 60 degrees Celsius during supercharging. But okay, this only happens during the supercharging or any fast charging, it depends. And then after you finish, then it cools down. But I just wonder how healthy is it to stay like this for half an hour to an hour? Oh, this is interesting. I compare this against an old, uh, another charging curve or another recording I had on a car that has not degraded much and you're supposed to get 75 kilowatt at 62% yeah, or at least 73 kilowatt at 62% so it seems to charge a few kilowatts slower on the higher end and then in the lower end a low state of charge then maybe they shave off even more so uh, Okay, I haven't done a complete test, but it, there could be indication that we have slower charging now than before when the car was new. But you know, before we started the test today, the car claimed that we had 67.8 kilowatt hour, but then the actual test shows that we could only get 65.4 kilowatt hour. So that is actually 2.4 kilowatt hour less. Uh, that is because of the heat loss uh, and then because it draw at night and it was cold outside the consumption was higher So if we would drive in plus 25 degrees Celsius and you know, low consumption and at 90 kilometers per hour We will usually get around 0.5 kilowatt hour loss. This is what I've seen in other Teslas I've tested in the past But today because the consumption was higher then the losses are greater uh, So if I would drive slower tonight, I would probably still have some losses and I estimated that uh, we have around 11.5% degradation. And also this is, I mean, okay, you can say, well, but it was not relevant or correct to drive that fast. Well, first of all, it wasn't even that fast. And I mean, it's not that cold also. So this kind of driving is somewhat uh, relevant, right? It's not uh, hardcore hammering at autobahn speeds. And it's not that freezing cold. So... Uh, yeah, actually, normally when they do those degradation tests, it's more like best case, I go slow and it's not too cold outside. I don't test in minus 20 degrees Celsius, right? But this also shows another thing of the aging, which is that, um, like I mentioned uh, in the beginning, um, as the battery ages, you also get more internal resistance, which means that, like today, when we hammer it, you get more losses versus when I don't hammer it. So, yeah, but 11.5% degradation is, well, I wouldn't say super high, but it is a bit higher than average. 
after only 155,000 kilometers, you get that high degradation. Other cars, they might get only around, I don't know, five to seven percent, so 11.5. Well, but the guy, the owner here, is this a pillow? Okay, uh, and that's sunshade. Well, and the whole starling thing there. Yeah. Well, it, it seems like he's he's been living in this car and they've been supercharging more than the average. So of course, supercharging, as you guys seen here, it heats up the battery. And that is, I mean, heating up the battery kills the battery faster. It doesn't happen immediately, but over time, when you do that often, it kills the battery faster. Like you eat more junk food versus eating healthy food then you slowly uh, uh, kill yourself. <laughs> no, but you get, you get my point, right? So, yeah. But I also wonder, Teslas, they don't have that much cobalt in the battery versus some other cars. So maybe the less cobalt also makes it degrade faster. But because when I test the Millennium Falcon, which is all Tesla, they had probably different chemistry, right? It didn't cold get that much, I remember, and also uh, didn't degrade that much after only 150,000 kilometers. And Millennium Falcon also uh, supercharged a lot, even more than this car. So does it mean that modern Teslas, they degrade more than other cars or previous generation Teslas? Maybe I should test them more. Actually, uh, the owner of uh, that Tesla Model 3 I own, um, MC Hammer, I don't want the, the car, not the owner. But uh, he contacted me already last year about uh, me testing his uh, the battery, and I was just slacking and then a bit. Yeah, maybe I should resume that and test MC Hammer because I supercharge a lot on uh, under my ownership, and then I'm not sure how much he has supercharged. But um, that was the Panasonic battery. This is LG battery, so. That could be different in the way they degrade, but uh, I remember that I also measured quite high degradation in MC Hammer back then. So I wonder how high is the degradation now? Well, we'll see, but uh, I think this test is over. What do you guys think? Huh? Do you get more degradation than expected in your Tesla versus other cars? Let me know what you guys uh, have or think. So that's going to be for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.